Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for your valuable words. Now, I feel privileged to invite our guest of honor to the podium to address our children with his inspirational words. Please, sir. Please. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, I need to hear this. This is a uh, one of the best residential schools, is it? Yes or no? With due respect to Sir Padi Sir, with due respect to Principal Ma'am, with due respect to the Chairman, the Vice Chairman, Vice Principal, to all the teachers and especially to the students. But I can't hear anything. With due respect to the students, come on, some noise. See, as long as I am one of the guests, you can make any amount of noise you want. I'll take the blame. You don't have to be afraid of anybody. I just looked at your, I just looked at your magazine. I had uh, viewed some of your pages. Very well written. I really liked uh, one of the page where. Uh, Harivan Shrai Bachchan, a small paraphrase of his book, Madhushala, has been mentioned in the Hindi pattern. Tu na thamega kabhi, tu na thakega kabhi, tu na mudega kabhi, kar shapat, kar shapat, kar shapat, agni pat, agni pat, agni pat. This, this poem, once you get back to your uh, Hindi teachers, Namaskar ma'am, Namaskar. Thank you for coming. So this poem, when it comes down uh, to your Hindi teachers, if you can get to them, ask them to explain to you. If you people know someone called Suresh Kumar Rautrai, do you know Suresh Rautrai? Anybody of you? So he is the MLA of this place. He has a phrase. He's made he's made it uh, very famous. The phrase phrase is Madi Chala. But once again, Madi Chala! So this entire phrase what I just read, which I could comprehend, which I could remember from Sri Harivesh Rai Bachchan. That poem actually, if you put it in a word, one single word, the word is Madi Chala. So never look back, never be tired, never fall down. Make it a promise that we'll always be going ahead. So we guys will be going ahead, yes or no? Yes. So we guys will be the topper, one of the best schools in the country. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've been, I'm, I myself was a hosteler boarding. I was uh, very privileged to study in OT. My school name is Good Shepherd International. I joined there in first standard. So I was too young to be in a hostel. Probably I was very naughty. I was very indisciplined, I think so. So my mom and dad thought they should put me in a hostel to discipline me. Initially I would cry. I would cry a lot. First standard, second standard, third standard. I would curse my parents. Why did they leave me in a hostel? But as long time went on, from 4th standard, 5th standard, my friends, my teachers, my principal, my school, it became my home. They were like my parents, they were like my brothers and sisters. So the best years of my life was in my hostel. So how was your life here? Is it the best? No? You guys are enjoying? 
So later, when you look back, when you people pass out, when you guys study professionally somewhere, become great people, achieve a lot, achieve like sir, sir could crack the UPSC, being an IS officer. I just watched the movie Twelfth Fails. I hope you. Did. I'm sure you must have watched it. So. That movie really inspired me. I don't know if the school can make some arrangement so that they can watch the movie. It's a very inspirational movie. At least the 11th, 12th or 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th people can understand. So after, after that movie, watching that movie, the respect for the IAS officers has become tenfold, sir, tenfold. Whatever it was, that's grown at least ten times. I hope. I somehow studied, I was not one of the toppers, but I was always in the first six, whichever class, wherever I was. I didn't make it to the only, the only pilot institute in India which is governed, uh, which is taken care of the central government, which was built by Sri Rajiv Gandhi, because he himself was a pilot. He built a very wonderful uh, academy. That's Indira Gandhi Rashtra Udan Academy. I managed to get the entrance. I managed to get to Air India. I got selected in campus. I've been working. I actually joined in 2005. And uh, fortunately, unfortunately, I don't know, there was more responsibility which was thrown onto my shoulder by my father especially. My father said, you've achieved enough. You have seen all over the world. I've flown to I don't know how many countries. Initially when I started flying, I would count the countries I was landing. I would take my aircraft, I would count the number of countries I would visit. Then I lost count. After visiting more than 50 countries, I stopped counting. So I don't know how many countries I flew to, how many countries I could take my aircraft. All I know is I have landed my, my aeroplane, my Boeing 777s, my Boeing 787s in with Air India. As a government employee, I was a government of India employee. So very proud of it in all the seven continents in the world. At least, I'm very proud of it. Proud being because I belong to Air India. The name, name itself says it because it contains the word India. So wherever I fly, wherever we go, with our uniforms, with our work culture, we were as a representative of the country. So we would behave very well, we would behave intellectual, we would behave very professional because we are carrying the, show, the, the prestige the essence of India on our shoulder because all other country people are looking at you. So wherever we went, whichever country it was, we tried our best as an Air India pilot. We kept it that way that everybody honors our country. Similarly, I've been called back by my father to work in and around Bhumneshwar, in and around Odisha. For, for the soil of Odisha, to, for the youth to come back once you are established. It was great en encouragement by my father to come back and start working socially. He said, you have done enough, you have seen enough, you have achieved enough. Now it's time to work for your people, time to work for your soil. So I expect you people, wherever you go, wherever you are in future, when you have made it, when you made it in life, try and look back to your school, to your homes, to your towns, to your villages. Wherever little you can help, wherever little you can give, wherever you can serve, wherever you can save, please do it. Please do. Please do look back. Most of you will have great, great career in life. But there is also a responsibility for your soil. I hope you, all of you, do something for the society. Look back when required. I'm very thrilled to know there are so many campuses of Gurukul. I, ha I had no idea. I apologize. 
I work in and around here. I've seen your uh, gate. I've seen Gurukul written every time, but never got the opportunity to come in. Now that uh, principal ma'am gave me an opportunity, I'm very thankful to you. I'm very thankful to you. I'm very happy to meet you as students. I have been a pilot. I have been a trainer. I was, I would be, I was training other pilots. I've worked for around 19 years as a pilot in Air India. I myself is a teacher. I'd rather not call myself as a commander. I basically people call me captain. But uh, I'm very proud to be a teacher. When I started teaching, I would teach theory, I would teach practicals, I would teach people how to fly, how to organize. So I think in my entire career, the most proud moment or the most learning moment for my life to take back, to keep it with me was when I started teaching. So all the teachers here, you people are doing a very noble job and you're doing a great job, keep doing all the students a big round of applause to all, all your teachers. It's not easy. I've been teaching professional people, very mature people, but your teachers have been teaching from people from LKG onwards, kids who might understand, who might not understand. You need a lot of patience. So hats off to all the teachers. Thank you for doing this. This school is not made by the only chairman, the vice chairman or the principal. This school is built on the shoulders of the teachers, the, the staff here, I include the security staff also. Everything is a teamwork, the entire team have done a fabulous job. I am expecting great more, great more news from this institute. You have a great future. I will be all around here. Anybody, anytime ma'am you need any counselling, any help, any experience of mine, whatever I have experienced in my life, I am always available. You can always invite me, I can interact with you, I can guide you people if possible. I am very thrilled to see your magazine which also covered English, which covered Odia, which covered Hindi. You have respected all languages, our official language, our national language, our state language. This is the way forward. It's an integral part of our system, our body, our society. School kept it up. I'm very happy to see your magazine. Your magazine is what a wonderful piece. I've seen a lot of uh, poems, a lot of essays. I'll go through it. And uh, if I need to appreciate, I'll come to the school and appreciate you guys. Thank you once again for listening to me. And whenever possible, whenever you feel that I need to come, I need to talk to you guys to encourage you, just feel free, just inform your principal or your management, I'll be here. Thank you. Mobile phone or Sangachati. Aponaka Pilati or Patapada or Carrier Cook Probabita Koruchiki. Apono City Pain Bibrutaki. Tebe Aji Asantu. Apono Jahutiba Monolaki, some poor Nabasika school. TST Gurukul, Gotobatana, Bubanisu.